What does it take to start a student news team? What can a student news team do for your school? Why would kids want to be on a student news team? Good morning, Michigan Center. Today is Monday, October 1st. I'm Cassidy Curtis, alongside my clicker, Miranda Hain, bringing you the morning announcement. Our media class has been an integral part of school relations, uh, communication for Michigan Center. Not only um, important for our daily announcements, uh, we're able to address character needs as well, whether we have an issue with texting or bullying or um, if we want to uh, connect with an important cause. Everything channels through our media class. Uh, they really took off with it and the kids loved seeing it in the school. The kids loved seeing themselves on tape the students loved it, the teachers loved it. Um, we started with, with ba basically nothing and uh, Mr. View and, and our students have moved us into um, a lot with, with little and it is possible to make that happen as long as you have the support and you have someone that really has the drive and motivation to make it happen. There was really no startup cost for us. It was great and the, the principal loved it so much that she said, well, we can get you a computer maybe next year and maybe we can get you some editing software. So after that, it cost about 500 bucks to, to get the whole thing started to kind of where it has morphed into today. I think the research stories are like really hard. I think they're the hardest thing in this class actually because you have to pick a topic and it has to be a topic that no one else has done. So <laughs> that's really hard in itself but then you have to go research it, find all the information that you need and that you want, put all that information to a script and you have to interview people, put out surveys, all that kind of stuff. Then you have to put it all together into one big thing that everyone's going to see. My name is Colin, I'm 15 years old, and I'm from the little town of Michigan Center. The big stories take a lot of time. I have already done one, and it takes, first you have to research, and then once you get your research, you usually have to like, think of a good way to present it on the camera, and it takes a lot of thinking and a lot of work. Mine I did, I did texting and driving with a partner and I feel like I was able to reach out to the whole school and tell them why texting and driving is a bad thing and that they will take it and take it into their car and do the right thing. It's really something to be proud of. The kids take ownership of it. They write their own stories. Uh, they, they choose the direction of which this, uh, the way this class goes. So they are doing everything. Um, I don't edit. Uh, my editors do all the editing, uh, they put the pictures in for their larger stories, they do everything in this class, which is really the way teaching is supposed to occur. So I'm just kind of a bystander, a silent partner if you will. If there's something going wrong then I step in and I'll talk to them about it or tell them how that they can improve their, their work in front of them or behind the camera, but they do all the work, so it's awesome. They, they get a lot of benefits from it. the media class because I've been a stage actor since I was seven years old and um, I just wanted to get some experience in front of the camera. I've always had an interest in journalism but I've also liked being in the camera and helping behind the scenes and this class gave me all the opportunities to actually do those things. We use a lot of cameras. We have three main cameras that we use and then we have a camera for pictures and we basically use the cameras to record and also to do voiceovers. And we also have two laptops and an iPad that we use for editing and research. Well, you can go onto our website and there's a link right on the home page that says Michigan Center Announcements. Yeah. And you can click that and you, there's a list of all the videos right there. When I wondered about students who had already gone through the program, Mr. View told me I needed to meet Mason. 
Hi, my name is Mason Flick, and I am currently a junior at Central Michigan University. Back in high school, I was one of the first students to get involved with the media class uh, at Michigan Center High School. And the really cool thing about the morning announcements was it was an everyday thing. Everybody got to get involved, and everybody got to be creative. And that's what I loved. I absolutely loved being able to be myself in front of the camera and let out that creative side of me that I couldn't let out in any other of the classes in high school. And that's why I decided to pursue broadcasting outside of high school. So right now I attend Central Michigan University where I'm involved with a number of co-curricular programs, uh, not to mention New Central 34, the student-run station there at CMU, the athletic department shooting sports, and all the other more hall television shows that I've been involved with, both in front of and behind the scenes. So it's, it's been a great experience. That wraps up our show today. I'm Kate Hill. And I'm Colin Soltis. And remember, stay, stay classy. classy.